Hey, Cody, do you want some donuts? No, I can't do it! Oh my god, get them away from me! Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of Big Person Marathon Prep. Yeah, I'm changing the name from big guy to big person because a lot of what I talk about really applies to anyone who not only wants to run a marathon or lose weight or just get into better overall shape, this information really applies. In this video, I want to go over food and nutrition. I know as someone who spent the better part of my life, or a large part of my life, no pun intended, as a bigger person, I struggled with food. And that's kind of what that opening scene about the donuts is about. For the longest time, I ran away from food because I had a very unhealthy relationship with it. You know, I would try to keep my carbs low, my proteins high, I would essentially starve myself, and then I would get too hungry and I would go on a bender. And not only would I eat all the carbs that I should have been eating in the first place, but I would overeat. And then I would gain all the weight back that I lost and I would undo all the progress that I had made in the previous days, weeks, or months. So in this video, I wanna go over what I eat because one big misconception in the endurance world already is not fueling enough. Like this idea that we don't need to eat that much food to go on these runs. And that's just not true. And you compound that with being a bigger individual who is afraid to eat too much food or has a bad relationship with food. Well, that's just a disaster. I made so many mistakes early on running and I just didn't see any progress and that's because I scaled my food way back, didn't eat nearly enough, and so my runs were absolute garbage. I got injured all the time because my body didn't have the nutrients to repair it and so therefore I got really, really discouraged and it wasn't until I found out all the information that I share in these videos and I'm going to share in this video that my life changed, that my runs started to improve and I started to get a lot better. I became unafraid of eating. I started to embrace the fact that I needed to eat more. And a magical thing happened. When I started eating more food, I got faster, I felt better, and I lost weight. I know, it's weird, right? It's weird. I eat more food and I lose weight. I know, it's just like mind blowing. But you know what? It's true. When we go to a racetrack or we see cars that run, it require, they require fuel. And that's the same thing in our bodies, you know, the we need to eat food to burn food. We need to consume fuel to burn fuel. So in this video, I want to go over where we start, how much we need to be eating, why we need to be eating this much, and some of the mistakes that I made early on. So let's get into it. All right, so where do we even start? Well, we start by going on one last bender, one last binge. Go out, get your donuts, your pizza, your cheeseburgers, and just get one more meal in before you dedicate yourself to this extreme weight loss journey. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not at all. That's a terrible idea. And that's what I did for years, right? I'd go on these benders when I'd overeat. And then I'd end up back to square one. So here's where we start. We get a phone out and we download a food tracking app. I recommend downloading MyFitnessPal inputting your height, your weight, your age, and your activity level. Now be honest about your activity level. If you're someone who cruises around the block like once every two months, don't put in there that you're extremely active because let's be honest, you're not extremely active. You're like moderately active, all right? So once we get that, it will give you the amount of maintenance calories allotted for you for the day. So for me, I, uh, I can get, I can have about 3,600 calories a day and that keeps me at my same weight. I'm not gonna lose any weight. I'm not gonna get that beach bod, but I'm also not gonna gain any weight either. And that's cool. Those are my maintenance calories. So if we wanna lose weight, then we need to be in a calorie deficit. Quick fun fact here, one pound is 3,500 calories. So if we wanna lose one pound over seven days, we need to be in a 500 calorie deficit every single day. Seven times 500 equals 3,500 all day long. So if we stay in that 500 calorie deficit, we'll lose one pound at the end of the week. If we wanna lose two pounds in a week, we need to do some quick math and just double that real quick. That means we would be in a thousand calorie deficit for an entire week. If we do that consistently, we're gonna lose about two pounds as long as everything else remains constant. Now, I 
eat in a 500 calorie deficit every single day because I don't want to lose too much weight too fast. One thing that I really learned over the years and a big mistake that I used to make is I tried to lose too much weight too quickly and it led to the benders and the binges and the dozen donuts and the cookies and the pizza. So I don't want to do that. So what I try to do is I try to hang out around 3000 calories and that gives me enough energy to get my runs in and it gives me enough energy to get my workouts in. So I would advise you to figure out your maintenance calories and then aim to lose one pound a week. Another reason I try to stick around one pound is because I try not to get too hungry. Some of the research says that two things to guarantee successful weight loss is always having food prepared, ready to eat, and number two, not allowing yourself to get too hungry. And that's what happens when you start getting too hungry. That's when the bad decisions come in. That's when that little, little voice gets in and tries to convince us that we need to go on a refeed. For some reason, getting a refeed says, hey, we need to eat more pizza and chocolate chip cookies and get that cheeseburger and just fill ourselves back up again. We can convince ourselves of anything when we're hungry because let's be honest, we're not really our true selves when we're hungry. Or are we? That's something to ponder in another video. Let's get started. Download your MyFitnessPal or something else where you can track your food. And throughout the rest of this video, I'm going to show you what I eat in a day. So I'll see you tomorrow morning before my run. Good morning. It is 4.34 in the AMs and I am getting ready to go on a run. I normally get up about 3.30 or 4 o'clock every day. I get one workout in in the morning and then I get another workout in sometime later in the day. The biggest mistake I made when I first started running though was I would not consume any fuel before my run in the mornings. This is okay to a certain degree if you're not trying to optimize performance, but the thing is, is I'm trying to run faster, I'm trying to run longer, and I'm trying to perform at a higher level. Now, I know we've talked about whenever we first started running, we reduce our calories. I know I certainly did because we normally start running for weight loss. That's okay, but I'm here to tell you, don't cut your calories. You know, don't cut a big old chunk out. Just bring them down a little bit. With that said, I start every day, I start every run with a meal. I like to get something in me before I go on these runs. And so let's get into the first little tiny snackish meal that I eat before I go on a run. If you wonder why I'm talking quiet, it's because everybody in the house is still asleep, as they should be, because only crazy people wake up at this hour. Okay. All right. Got ourselves about. Okay, we've got our first little snacky poo of the day. Comes out to 16 grams of protein, 64 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of fat. Before you freak out, alrighty. Okay, before you freak out about 60 carbs, it's okay. All right, it's okay. You need fuel. You gotta put fuel in the tank. Think about race cars. Okay, you go to the track. Race cars with a big engine, they burn crazy amounts of fuel. I mean, they get like two miles to the gallon. That's because they burn so much fuel. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get our body to become a machine that just burns up the fuels, okay? The average person burns about 80 to 140 calories or 100 to 140 calories per mile that they run. So if you think about it, if you go out and you run four miles, you burn it off. 560 calories. So you're burning this off, okay? So calm down, eat your little snacky poo, and go out there and perform. All right, I'm gonna wolf this down along with some caffeines, and then I'm gonna go run, and I'll be back, and we'll get into the break fast. All right, so what I'm throwing in here is two tablespoons of this, and I can't believe it's not butter. I know, I know, I can't believe it either. It's the craziest thing. Tastes like butter, looks like butter, smells like butter. It's got to be butter, you know what I mean? But I can't believe it. Okay, one big important thing is veggies, all right? Sorry about me not being in the frame here. I'm just, I'm like, I'm like large. And so my tripod's short, so I'm constantly like doing this dance, trying to get to the frame. Anywho, here we go. I got some spinaches, 
Okay, you gotta have the greens. Keep it clean with the green. All right, here we go. All right, next up, we got ourselves 209 grams of the egg whites. How did I land on 209? Well, I was shooting for 200, overshot it a little bit. So now we're sitting at 209, so we're gonna pour this in here. So I don't know what you're thinking. Cool eggs, cool protein, bro. Right? What about the carbs? I'm glad you asked. Got myself a little potato. I normally eat a bigger potato. I like to have more than this in the morning, but you know what? It's the last potato in the bag. Going to the grocery store today, okay? Don't hold it against me. Let's get this thing ready. We're gonna throw it in the microwave. That is a hot potato. All right, so that potato only weighs about four ounces. That's fine. You don't have to do because, well, it's the only potato I got. 46 protein, 23 carbs, 27 fat. Uh, puts us at a total of 62 protein, 87 carbs, and 46 grams of fat for the day right now, which is about 1,010 calories. So I'm going to wolf this down, then I'll see you in meal number two. That's done. Whew. Oh, hey there. It's nice to see you again. Murdoch and I. Yeah, it's little Murdoch. Murdoch! You say hi? You say hi? No? You don't care. You say hi? Whoa! He's saying hi! He's such cute! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Are you- do you have food in your mouth? Chief food, man. You're a wild man. Wild man! He's so cute, buddy. Alright. So we're back for meal number three and a half. Counting that little snacky poo before the run this morning. Uh, on this meal, I like to have beef, veggies, and rice. I like to keep my meat lean earlier in the day. I like to save the fats for later in the day because uh, fats really help stave off that hunger. So I'm gonna eat some 96% lean beef. This dude's crazy, he's a wild man. And I'm gonna have two cups of rice and some veggies. So let's get into that meal. All right, cooking up the veggies here. I, uh, I get these frozen veggies, it keeps me from you know, spending all that time chopping them up. So I got some green bell pepper, red bell pepper, and onion. I get these going here, and then I'll dump the meat in and start cooking it with it. All right, while well, the meat's cooking up, I got my scale out, and I know that six and a half ounces is about a cup of cooked rice. That's how much it weighs for some reason. Every time I dump a cup in there, that sort of weighs. So I don't, uh, I don't measure it out anymore. I just put it in the bowl. That up. I'm just going to get this ready for uh, whenever the meat's done. Alright, so it's about 13 ounces. I'm going to pop this in the microwave and get it ready to go for when the meat gets done. It's looking good and it smells good. This meal comes out to 56 grams of protein, 90 grams of carbs, and 16 grams of fat. It looks like our total so far is 116 grams of protein, 175 grams of carbs, and 59 grams of fat on the day, 1,723 calories. Let's go knock this out. And then after this meal, uh, I'm gonna get into a workout and I'm just going to drop in here a workout that I filmed yesterday. It's not the workout I'll be doing today, but just to keep you from boredom and watching all this food stuff, I'm gonna throw in some weights. So we'll see you after that.
All right, workout complete. Now I'm about to make a shake, have a little bar. I'll show you what I'm eating. I have two scoops of Machine Way. This is from Tiger Fitness on the dot com. Peanut butter cookies and cream, 25 grams of protein per scoop. So I'm looking at 280 calories here. So four grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, and 50 grams of protein. Plus this here, this is an outright bar from Tiger Fitness as well. It has 15 grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of protein. So that's probably gonna put us at what? 64 grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs, and 19 grams of fat. In this meal, for a total of 580, 570 calories in this meal. These things right here are insanely good. I mean, they're like a dessert, you know? Absolutely amazing. Mm. All right, that one's done. See you in the next one. Didn't really feel like cooking one more meal, so I got Mongolian beef to go. Got it delivered. So what I find online, nutrition-wise, is 400 calories, 17 grams of fat, uh, 14 grams of carbs, and 46 grams of protein. Probably gonna throw a cup of rice or two on top of this, which put me around 800 calories for this last meal, which put me over 3,000 calories for the day, but that's okay. Ready to eat, we're gonna burn this off during tomorrow morning's run. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you in the next one. When we get too hungry, we make some bad decisions. And I know for me, when I get too hungry, that old voice starts in my head, you know, that justification. I'm convincing myself that I need to do a refeed. Next thing you know, I'm on the phone, I'm calling the pizza store, I'm on DoorDash, I'm on Uber Eats, and then I'm sitting at the table consuming a pizza and nachos, and I'm washing it down with a two liter of soda, and about 30 minutes later, I hate myself. Not to mention the chocolate chip cookies that I top it all off with. So I'm here to tell you, don't let yourself get too hungry, and don't give in to that bender.